Hello everyone, welcome back to another Kinetic Tutoring episode. Today we're taking a look at question 5 of the AP Calc BC exam from 2023, so let's get straight into it. The graph of functions f and g are shown in the figure for the interval from 0 to 3. It is shown that g of x is equal to 12 over 3 plus x for x is greater than or equal to 0. The twice differentiable function f which is not explicitly given satisfies f prime of 3 or f of 3 is equal to 2 and the integral from 0 to 3 of f of x dx is equal to 10 a finds us to ask us to find the area of the shaded region and the shaded region is just going to be top minus bottom from 0 to 3 so f of x minus g of x dx and we can separate this into two integrals. The integral from 0 to 3 of f of x dx is 10. So you get 10 minus the integral from 0 to 3 of g of x dx. This you can just plug into your calculator. Or it's a pretty simple um, u substitution. The integral will turn out to um, 12 times the natural log of 3 plus x, and then you evaluate it from 3 to 0. Um, but in order to do it in a more simpler method, we're just going to use our calculator. Um, math 9, we're going to do the integral from 0 to 3, 12 divided by, in parentheses, 3 plus x dx. This gives us 8.3, so we get 10 minus 8.3 gives us roughly 1.7. So the area will be 1.7 units. Let's move on to part B, which asks us to evaluate the improper integral from 0 to infinity. Um, G of x squared gives you 144 over 9 plus 6x plus x squared. Uh, using the p-series test, we can see that the variable with the highest um, exponent is x squared, and since 2 is greater than or equal, or sorry, rather greater than 1, therefore we know that the integral converges. So we are now going to take the integral from 0 to infinity dx. Um, first thing we want to do is compact this again and take the 144 out integral from 0 to infinity 1 over x plus 3 I'm just going to flip those because it doesn't matter square dx and then you can just put this to the negative 2 to get this on the numerator x plus 3 to the negative 2 144 All right, and then from here, we use u sub u equals x plus 3, du equals dx. So then, using that, we can say that we have the integral of u to the negative 2 du. And we add 1, divide, we get negative u to the negative 1 or negative 1 over u and once we put it in terms of x again that gives us negative 1 over x plus 3 x plus 3 so there you have that and then you multiply by 144 and then you, the last step is to evaluate from infinity, or from zero to infinity. Um, so when this is equal to infinity, we get 144 over infinity, negative 144 over infinity plus three, which is zero, minus negative 144 over three. So the answer you get is just 144 thirds, which simplifies to 48. So there you go. That would be your answer for part B. 
And part C says H, let H be equal to X times F prime of X. Find the value of the integral of H of X dX. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use integration by parts. So since we're integrating X F prime of X dX, we're going to make the u equal to the x and then we're going to make the f prime of x dx the dv and then from here uh, take the integral of both sides you have v is equal to f of x and du is equal to dx so we get uv which is x f of x minus the integral of v du which gives you f of x the integral of f of x dx and so we're evaluating from 0 to 3 so from here what we're going to get is x of 3 minus x of 0 so we get x of 3 um, or sorry rather 3 times f of 3 minus 0 times f of 0 which is just going to be 0 because 0 times anything is 0 3 times f of 3 is going to be 6 minus the integral of f of x dx from 0 to 3 which we know already is 10 gives us a value of negative 4 so there you have it that's how you solve all three parts of this problem I hope you guys learned something and if you did or if you enjoy this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you have any further comments questions or concerns Leave them down in the comment section and I'll try my best to respond. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.